Good evening to you, Ginger. Just a horrific story that we have been learning about. Those dogs, once only known by the batch number stamped to the inside of their ears like a tattoo, now being given a second chance at life. It's all thanks to centers like Helen Woodward and other shelters across the U.S., but it's going to be a daunting task to find homes for all 4,000 of them coming from such atrocious circumstances. It's something that advocates tell me they hope shines a spotlight on similar operations and leads to changes to prevent this in the future. One by one, Hi. 43 of the 4,000 beagles rescued from a Virginia in Vigo research facility arrive in San Diego. Lab testing breeding facilities are legal, which is very horrific to a lot of people. They are allowed to do it, but they have to keep those animals in humane conditions. The conditions, anything but humane. This video released by PETA, who launched an undercover investigation with the Humane Society, shows severe levels of abuse. Eagles being killed instead of receiving treatment for easily treatable diseases uh, or, you know, medical conditions. They found that over that course of about six, seven months, over 300 puppies had died of unknown causes. Temperatures in kennels where dogs are thought to have spent their entire lives reaching 90 degrees. The USDA eventually calling for the facility to close. It's heartbreaking. And to think of just the neglect. The Anti-Vivisection Society works to enact heavier regulations on the more than 10,000 USDA approved facilities, saying other operations are going unchecked. It's the snapshot of the lives of 4,000 animals, and it is gut-wrenching. It's really, really difficult to read about and to see, but unfortunately not all that surprising. And that's where shelters like the Helen Woodward Animal Center come in. You start to realize that they excel beyond anything that humans can imagine because their ability to forgive and reach out for human kindness even after the, how they've been treated horrifically is pretty amazing. They're one of only two on the West Coast caring for the beagles, finding foster families for all 43 in record time. Very emotional watching them all come in and just reading everything and finding out that they use beagles for testing because they're so sweet and docile. It's his first time having a backyard. It's his first time being on a leash, his first time really seeing the sun, meeting other animals. The center hoping to take in even more rescues in the coming days. Because of them, 4,000 beagles are getting the life that they deserve. They're going to go home one day to belly scratches instead of, you know, steel metal cages. Just to see them come through that and still be so loving is just, they're so resilient. And just telling them, you know, your new life starts today. That old life doesn't count. So incredible to see just how resilient those dogs are and how so many are stepping up to make this possible. Now, if there is any good news to come from this for the state of Virginia, their governor has signed five bills known as Beagle Bills into place to protect the welfare of animals, cats and dogs being sold for experimental purposes. So, of course, what they hope this will do is change this moving forward and ensure something to this scale never happens again. As far as if you're interested in adopting or even fostering these beagles. We're going to put up a website on the bottom of your screen here. That's where you can go to learn about the process or the steps that you need to take to ensure that you are a right fit for either of that kind of temporary or permanent home. But once again, this is going to be a lengthy, a daunting task to find shelter for these animals and to find forever homes. But there are so many places that are stepping in and doing what they can, something we're going to track as this happens across the nation to shelters doing whatever they can to help. Reporting in Kearney Mesa, Hunter Sowards, KUSI News.